Another blowout scorecard for Apple as earnings surpassed the most bullish of expectations in the first quarter. Strong demand for bigger screen iPhone 6s bulldozed profits to a record $18 billion or EPS earnings per share of $3.06, while sales in the mainland surged 70 percent. They're the largest company in the world. They have the best infrastructure in place from an ecosystem for consumers to come on board and buy almost everything they're selling. And they're continuing to innovate. They have the watch which is coming out. And the watch, if it's done right, can has the potential to be a game changer and revolutionize the way people use watches. Breaking it down, the Cupertino giant sold a whopping 74.5 million iPhones. Sales of Mac PCs also rose, but iPad sales fell 18%. They haven't innovated in a long time. Remember with the iPhone sales before the 6 came out? iPhone sales were sluggish. People were waiting for a new iPhone. And then the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus came out, and then boom, look at this quarter. All because of the iPhone 6. So once they come out with the new iPad, guess what? Same thing's going to happen all over again. Even after the stunning performance, there are bullish calls for the shares to march higher. I think the stock is undervalued. It's an undervalued growth stock. So it's attractive from the valuation standpoint, its PE is around 17, which is more or less in line with the S&P 500, so it's not overvalued by any way, shape or form. I would say in the near term, probably by the end of the year, 130 to 135.